Okay, so what I want to show you right now is Microsoft Teams mobile as an app, okay? So I'm showing you my phone right now. It's really cool on what you can do as well. So it's not just limited to your computer, but you can bring it with you so that if there's any notifications or any chats, important things that you need to discuss, you can do that as well over here. Okay, so it's pretty easy. Just go to the App Store or the Play Store, depending on what OS you're using, okay? And then you can find Microsoft Teams in there, install, and then do the login. So what I have right now over here is the Teams. And let's say, let's just try it out some for some of them, okay? Let's say Excel Fanatics, I'll click Excel Formulas. And then what you can have over here is the same view that we're seeing, right? The presentations, the praise that I did, right? The virtual hugs, right? Okay, so pretty much everything that you're seeing as well, you could see as well in your mobile application. So same thing as well for files. If there's any shared files, you can see here the more, okay? We have the course planning, the macro documents, right? Even the trailer board, okay? So we can just try it out. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna be sending me over to the Trello link, okay? So that's a bit different as compared to the desktop or the web app wherein everything is integrated. Because over here, right, it just brought me to the browser, okay? So I need to sign in so that I can see the board in Trello. So let's just go back and let's have a look at the other things. Let's say, let's just try it out the macro doc. Let's see what's gonna happen next. So it's gonna try loading the Word document, okay? So I'm still inside the Microsoft Teams app. Okay, so now the document is loaded up, so I'll just scroll down and I'm having the same view, so I can check the document as well over here. Okay, so that's really cool. Okay, so we're able to view the Word document, so let's just go back here and then let's have a look on what else we could do. Let's try again the Excel formulas, right? And then you could just go for a quick reply. Let's just edit this and let's start a new conversation. Hey, I'm doing this, right? from the app okay so you could just set it over here okay and then you could do the same things as well let's say you want a gif you might or add an image you could do that as well inside the mobile app and it's pretty cool because you have the mic icon as well over here so you can add in an audio message so you could just go for a recording if you want to do that okay so let's try it out there you go, you just hold the record, okay? And then once I finish recording, I'll just let go and there's my audio recording. So let's go back over here and then we have the Teams, we have the Excel Fanatics. So you could do the same things. You could manage members, right? Channels over here, leave the team, edit the team. So there's the options that we've been discussing. You can bring that as well, okay, to your phone, okay? So we have the chat as well. So let's try it out. Let's have a chat with Esther. So you could see the same messages as well over here. Okay, you could do a video call or an audio call as well over here. And then what we have is the files. So the same view that we're seeing, the shared files between the two of us. And then we have the more as well if you have different tabs added here, okay? So what we have is the activity as well over here. So pretty much the same filters, okay? So if I try the filters, you can go for the mentions, the replies, etc., that you've been seeing inside the web and the desktop app, okay? And then you could also do a search right over here. So if I click search, just search for the specific message. Let's say I'll type in report and it's gonna show me that, okay, it's this specific message. If I click on it, it's gonna bring me straight inside the specific channel, okay? So that's really cool. So you could do everything that you want. So I'll just go back and then you can also do the calls over here, right? So the same thing, we have all of the history of the call, okay, over here in this icon, and then I could just search for people. And then let's say we want to give Esther a quick call. You can just select video or audio call, okay? So that's up to you. So if I try to make an audio call, then it's pretty much like you're using your phone straight up inside Microsoft Teams. So let me just hang that up, okay? And then same thing for files. So it's integrated to OneDrive. If I click on it, then I'll be able to see the files that I have over here.